Good morning, everybody. Well, yesterday we had a pretty good day. We didn't work too terribly hard on the plow and we took a lot of breaks, but we got a decent amount plowed and, and we're happy with what we've got done. As you can see or will see, our plowing job is not the best. It's the furrows are a little bit crooked, but, uh, but that's okay. It's partially our fault. Um, and I'm not saying Jacob, I'm saying our fault. Jacob did a little driving yesterday and he'll be do, doing some driving today. But uh, I would have to say it's mostly Baron's fault. And this is not a bad thing. It's just that he's still a colt. You know, he's three years old. And what he's been doing is a lot of weaving back and forth. When he pulls, kind of weaves to the left, it doesn't affect anything because the plow stays in the furrow, Bill stays in the furrow. That's not a problem. But then he'll weave to the right and push against Ken. And it's pretty easy at that point to push both of them over. And then my plow kind of goes off to the side because there's no furrow wall to hold it from moving back and forth. So um, that's what's happening. I guess I'm not trying to make an excuse for my our poor plowing job, but that's just the way it is. Um, so we are going to plow today for a little while. Then we'll take a break and tie the horses to the truck body. And we have a few other things that we're going to do. So we'll get at it. Cut stop. Go.
Carrot apple. Okay. G, 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 G. G, F, G. G, F, G. G, F, G, F, G. Oh. Okay. We just we'll stop you down at the end and I'll turn around. So um I mean he's he's sensible. I think he's gonna get used to this because like he likes a task and just to do it. He's like Buck. The furrow will do him a lot of good. I don't uh -huh. you know, yesterday I was thinking, you know, I don't want to put him in the furrow. If they look stupid this way. You know, if I put Ken in the furrow, he'd get down there and then the other two would kinda level right out nicely. Yeah. But I just he needs to be in that furrow. Are in everything and Ken like he leans against him, but Ken doesn't move. You know. No, Ken's good. Ken in his... Leans against him and Ken is just good. To... Oh yes, he does move. Oh yeah. He'll <laughs> both oh yes. Over, yeah. oh. See, he's not shoving him that way because oh. the plow holds in place. Right. But right. that's the problem. That's the problem we've been having all the time. Uh -huh. He shoves that way and then he loses him. He'll take six steps out to the left and then all of a sudden, then he, boom, bam. push him right back uh, over. He did it to me big time right down there. The furrow was pretty good. You can see where he just shoved it right in. Leaving. But, um, is it, is it, is it with him, is it because of the lack of muscle being just starting? No, no, no I would definitely not say so that's not it. Um, just lack of experience. Is that what, okay. Just hasn't quite cut it all together yet. So. I mean, he's coming along wonderful for being started, what, six months? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's doing, he's Plus doing great. The years seems very yeah. comfortable. I've noticed today there's some flies out. Yeah, yeah. there we was at the end of yesterday. Mm. Hey, get there. a little bit. They were coming. Oh, no. Oh. So what we did yesterday, and just for some of you guys that might be, um, not have not been watching our videos, this is actually the third third uh, day that uh, Jacob has been here and he's just been helping and he's going home today but he's just been helping for a few days he wanted to get some more experience driving horses and he's from Western New York and he actually is with a draft horse club a member of that and he's been getting a lot of experience there and so when he came here I didn't know what experience he would have but I've been very impressed with how how well he does do and he's seriously thinking about getting a, a pair of horses he's got a trailer already and he's got his barn ready to go up so he's kind of doing things right and uh and i told him i says you know you are ready for a pair of horses so i think uh i think it won't be long and he'll be having a pair of horses but i, I want you to tell you tell everybody about your drafters club and anything else you might think of so yeah i'm from western new york springville new york to be specific and i joined uh, approximately a year ago joined the um, Collins Draft Horse Ox and Pony Club is what I joined. And we do a lot of public rides, wagon rides. Um, we actually were a part of, or have been a part of, the tree lighting ceremony at Roswell Hospital for the last 34 years. Wow. We give the wagon rides there, our club does. Um, so I joined, like I said, approximately a year ago and trying to learn as much as I can from people who are experienced. And yep, October uh, at Mount Hope, we're planning on getting a team ourselves so we can start doing wagon rides. And that is great. And I'm curious, and I let people know even, um, when did you drive your first horse? When, when was the first experience you had driving horses? Um, a year ago in March. Wow. So you have come a long ways. Yes. So that's great. Yep. What kind of, what, Type of draft horse do you hope to team to get? As far as breed, I don't really care. 
Um, it's more the mindset. I need something that can be out in public with kids yelling and screaming and that kind of thing. So we need a sensible team. Um, I lean towards the Percherons, just I like the black horses, but it's more about the brain than anything else. Okay, go right ahead. This is great in a lot of ways because it gets gives Jacob the chance to drive and learn more and he's continually asking me questions which is great but it also gives me time to to kind of observe my horses from a distance and see if there's anything else that I could and should be doing with them as I plow. Sometimes when someone else is plowing for me, I'll walk behind the furrow like this, and I think to myself, my goodness, if this is a walking plow, I would hate to be walking behind them. At this speed, it would really, really tuck our person out really fast. Jacob and I have been talking a little bit about my horses, and, and I like to, I like to say, I guess, that my horses are a little bit on the high octane side of things. I like them to have quite a lot of energy and to be very fast walkers. And as you can see, that's definitely what they are. That's good anywhere. He's weaving bad this morning. He is weaving bad? Yeah, I didn't is. notice this so much when you. Yeah. And it's always to the I right. thought myself when I was driving, but when I was watching you, I didn't yeah. notice it. Yeah, he was, he's constantly touching the counter. Yeah. But I wonder. What I do, what I do when he does that or attempt to do a lot of times, if I just kind of throw my line over like off to the side, uh -huh. it helps shove him over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Try that next time. Okay. You know, I just kind of toss it up to the top of them. What it does, it, it uh, kind of tells them to go faster. Okay. And when you're going faster, he's more apt to veer off okay. to the left. Okay. Careful that. Careful that. Careful. Huh? G. G. Ape G. Ape G. Damn it.
They're gonna sweat today. It's so much more humid this morning than it was yesterday. Yeah. Cut stop. Chickens. I'm surprised they're not out here. <laughs> uh, we're gonna plant some potatoes today. I think we got three or four rows here we can plant. We'll see how far these go, but um, we have some early potatoes, some Norland. Norland, are they Norland Reds or Norlands? Whatever. So what I do, and I'm not saying I'm any kind of an expert, but this is the way my dad taught me, is just to make sure you have a couple eyes in each, on each piece of potato, and the eyes are the, these things. The life is in those little babies. And they feed off of the potato, and that's how they get going. And um, yesterday we made the, the guys made the hold, hold up the, the rows. Um, some people dig a deep trench and put them in the deep trench. Some people cover them up with a whole bunch of hay and stuff. Do you use hay last year or did you just cover them? So actually, the first year we did, I actually did leaves is what I covered. Oh, cool. I mounted them with mm -hmm. until the moles moved in. and uh... ate them. Yeah. Uh, Last year we did just mound with the compost mm -hmm. um, somewhat, but for the most part I just kind of let them grow and yeah um i have found that what i do is when i see them you know i cover them up and when i see them coming up then i really hoe them up after that on both sides i take dirt from both sides and of course you don't want um if the potatoes that are growing come up and they're not covered they're they'll be green and then they're not so good so um anyhow I will go get the hoe because you want to plant the whole bucket first because that's the yeah, variety. Yeah, we'll plant. Yeah, I hope these come up and do good quick. Okay, I'll get them. And the then, yep, okay. So I'm just um, putting them about that far apart because that's what I always do. I forget, last year I kind of looked it up more scientifically, but that's about how far apart I put them. And then, Jacob, if you just want to cover them up on both sides with a little some dirt so they're covered. And then... When they get up, we'll cover them up more. And here's some compost. I do have a bunch of compost I still, um, from over the winter, that I need to put around plants when they come up. Or, you know, plant when I plant things. So as Jacob and Brenda plant potatoes, I want to go show you why we're here and why we're not plowing. So we were plowing up a storm out there and both Jacob and I were really getting something done. And I was walking behind Jacob as he was plowing and I realized this arm right here was just hanging here. And then I noticed this was loose. So this is the land side and this is what we'll have to replace. Also on the back of this, there's supposed to be a heel or another shoe type of thing that um, supports the plow. And we'll have to 
get a new one of those and put it on. So because of this and this, we have to replace these. So we're going to go over and the, one of my Amish friends not far from here carries um, a lot of my plowing supplies and my mow machine part supplies and a lot of just general supplies. And so I'm going to see if he happens to have the right part for this plow that I need. And we're going to um, come back and see if we can get that fixed. So it's possible the plowing is done for the day, but it's, that's okay if it is. Um, we're just about done with what I want to plow. Jacob got a lot of line time of doing plowing and he did great. And so um, we still got plenty of time because the piece I'm plowing is for corn and we won't be planting corn for at least three weeks. So we're in great shape here. Okay, so I can see you guys are going right along. You're not gonna have enough rows if you could plant all those potatoes. Disgusting. Oh, uh, maybe I won't cut them up so small, the rest of them, you know, so that's one thing. Or make more rows. We keep on trying to have a smaller garden and then we keep on not having a smaller garden. And I've expanded my garden every single year for the last four years. I like yeah. the chair, but... Good morning, everybody. Well, we've had some really wet weather the last few days. Um, it's been too wet to plow. Um, it's too wet, been too wet to do almost anything, actually. Um, but anyways, I did want to show you guys, to finish up this video, the plow all fixed and ready to go again. So this is what we have. I got the plow kind of up on edge here so you can see it. So this is the new landslide that I put in or lay inside, I'm not exactly sure what you, what you, some people call it different things, of course. And um, that's all new there. And then I got a new shoe or heel, some people call it heels. And that is adjustable, you can see this is adjustable so it slides up and down. And so as this wears, to kind of protect the rest of this, this will actually be adjusted down and it will, as it wears. And uh, so, that's all done, that's fixed. This heel should stay close, stay on the ground when we're plowing, I'll show you that sometime. But um, yeah, all fixed, all ready to go. So hopefully, very soon, I can get to finish the plowing job. Hope you enjoyed the video, you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.